Okay, to do a logbook or fill in your logbook for your course, um, this is done on a PC, but it should be pretty much the same for on your phone. Just come up here and see to your name, and you should be able to find logbook. Click on log that one, log a training dive. It's going to ask you to select the type of training dive. And then click on Open Water Trading Dive 1. All right, so it's already filled in Open Water Trading Dive 1 view. Add the dive site. Uh, we're going to say Stony Cove. <clears throat> Date. Um, 1st of January. Right. 2023. Uh, your instructor's paddy number. So whomever your instructor is, they should give you paddy number. Uh, we'll just use mine for now. Type of dive for it. Stony Coast says so it will be a shore dive. Depth and time. We'll move on to the second part now. Add these. How deep? So as this dive one. Uh, we'll be on the trading shelf. So this will be seven meters. And bottom time, we're going to say 25 minutes. Scroll down. And then dive trading skills. Now it'll have all of them, all the skills that you have to do on this dive listed. Already done, but then you can add the dive flexible skills. So, <clears throat> um, Depending on when you're doing these, we don't normally do any dive flexible skills on dive one. Um, we'll have between dives one and two, we will do cramp removal. So we'll take these now just to show you and tie dive a tie. Once that's completed, go in there and we're going to log the dive. It's going to ask if you, uh, for every dive that you do, training dive, it's going to send a notification to your instructor. That's why you have to put the instructor number in. Um, so it's, it's going to call this and you say you do want to submit it and then your instructor will verify that dive for you. Okay. And we successfully completed, uh, completed uh, our uh, open water dive one. So we're now going to have a look at the main logbook and we'll look at recreational dive. So it's a similar sort of thing, but you'll notice a slight difference in that you don't have to put your instructor uh, details in because you don't need an instructor on a recreational dive. So uh, we'll just fill it in again. So uh, fun dive. Uh, let's go somewhere different. Let's go to Cap and Ray. Cap and Ray. Uh, date of this dive, 2nd of, let's go, scroll down, I'll pick the end of the year, um, 2022, because we've not had that yet. Uh, we're going to just have a little bit of fun here, and we're just going to say boat dive, just to be different, even though you don't do boat dives at Cap'n Way. Uh, depth and time will be the same. Uh, but this time I'm going to go slightly deeper. So as we go, um, we'll say 29 meters for 20 minutes. In here, we also have conditions, which as you'll see is different from our your training dive. So as we're going to say fresh water, <coughs> It's a Kevin Razor Lake. We're diving in the UK, so it's always sunny. Temperature. We're going to say a balmy 25 degrees Celsius. Surface temperature. Um, we're going to say we're going to say it's towards the end of the summer, so we're going to have a nice 21 degrees surface temperature. But we went down relatively deep to 29 meters, so the depth or the temperature will change as we go deeper 
going to be a little bit colder, especially in lakes. So as we're going to say, uh, 18 degrees at our bottom depth. <clears throat> Visibility, it's always, uh, it's down to you. If you've only been diving in poor visibility, anything reasonable will seem like really good visibility. But if you learn to dive somewhere in the tropics, say, with very good visibility, uh, diving here in the UK, you're going to call it low visibility. But just for the sake of it, we're going to say average for this. How far can you see? Now, when it comes to how far you can see, you normally go by how far you can see clearly. So is, how far could you see details on your body? Hopefully not too far away, but yeah, if you can see, if they're more than like a couple of meters away and you can still make out the uh, details, that's usually pretty good for the UK. Um, generally speaking, in Cap and Ray, you're looking at around about five meters away where you can still clearly see everything. You can make out uh, divers a good 10, 15 meters away, but being able to see clearly, that's what we're looking for here. So we're just going to say five meters. Um, waves, we're in a lake and it's middle of summer, we're saying. So we're going to say no waves. And again, we're in a current or we're in a lake, so it's no current. Surge is the movement of water backwards and forwards, and it can be real fun to play in a surge. Um, so as the waves move over down with you backwards and forwards. But again, seeing as we're in a lake, it's going to be very light. And that's the end of the um, of this section. So this next section is equipment. Right. Um, we're saying it's lovely and warm here, so it's, we're just in a 5 mil wetsuit. But as you can see, you've got everything from nothing, in which case you're just wearing a T-shirt and shorts. Um, 3 mil. Probably again, you're looking at tropical weather, um, it's like Maldives and places like that. Five and seven mil UK weather, uh, UK conditions during the summer, usually from like June to September. Um, Semi dry, probably cooler conditions like beginning of dry season in the UK, um, and then a dry suit means that you can dive all year round. Right. Very important to remember to not put too much weight on. So if we're going to say four kilos here of a five mil weight, so it should be plenty. Now you've got a bit down here um, talking about how you felt. So it's four kilos should be good. For us, but if you felt heavy in that dive, you can click heavy and we can look back and see how much weight you had in your previous dive and whether you felt heavy or light. So you can adjust your weight in um, before you get in the water. But do remember every time you do get in the water to do a buoyancy check, just to make sure. Okay, additional gear. Um, we're in wetsuits as we have boots, but definitely didn't need a hood. Water was lovely and warm, and don't really want gloves. Uh, again, the water was quite warm, but in cooler conditions, you can put them on. Cylinder, um, here in the UK, we tend to use steel, uh, but you can also use aluminium, especially when you're in the Red Sea or the Maldives or somewhere like that. Um, other, they're talking about composite cylinders and things like that. Again, quite rare. You're more likely going to have either have steel or aluminium. Um, and the standard size of a litre or a cylinder is 12. Um, you can dive on 10 if you're very good with your air, or you can dive on 15s if you're not particularly good with your air. You can get smaller cylinders, but it's really not really worth it. All right, gas mixes. Most of the time we're going to be diving on air, but it does make sense to dive on different mixes. Now, it's got a few choices here. You've got uh, a 32 mix, so it's 32% oxygen, 36 mix, 36% oxygen, 40, which is the highest you can get on a standard nitrogen um, enriched air nitrox certificate. Um, do look into doing that. It does make life a bit easier, especially with long drives. And if you're diving abroad a lot of time, they'll offer my trucks for free. Um, you've got an option here for enriched. So if you're not using 
one of the set ones uh, of 32 or 36 or 40. You can put it in there and then down the bottom here, you can put in your mixes if you haven't already done so. Um, you've also got Trimix here, which if you're going deep, uh, something you might want to look into. And you've also got the option for rebreathers, which actually adjusts the amount of oxygen and nitrogen in your mix as you dive. But again, you will need extra courses for those. So then the pressure says so your starting pressure. So it's 332. And there's a relatively short dive, so we probably didn't use that much air. Um, so as we're going to say around about 150 bar we came out with, which means it's already done a calculation for you of 82 bar that you used on that dive. And finally, we have experience section, which where you can put how how much you enjoyed your dive. Was it poor? Did you not feel it? Did you get knocked? We went quite deep, so did you get knocked? Um, average was a so-so dive. Maybe the visibility wasn't very good. Um, good, yeah. Um, maybe you saw something cool and amazing. Let's face it, we're scuba diving, so all of our dives are amazing. So we'll click there. And here we have a section to write down any notes. Uh, so as we saw sharks, or whatever you want to put in there, any notes you want to take. Um, who was your buddy? So as we're going to say for this dive, our buddy was Bob. And the dive center was underwater. Adventures. <coughs> and you've also got a section here where you can upload uh, photos as you can storm from that dive. And then we can just log our dive here. Log. Okay, and that's how you use the Paddy logbook on your Paddy app.